I finished painting a few days ago. Behind me is what it looked like before, so just white. And the new color is this. I don't know if you can see it properly. There. It's like gray with a hint of blue, so a cool kind of gray. But yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice once it's finished with some warm lighting. Um, the wall right here, that's still white. I'm gonna leave it white because I have this plan in my head of what the space, the studio should be once it's finished and for that plan to work, that wall has to stay white. The thing is, I want to make the most of the space that I have here. I want to create a super, super efficient studio. I want to be able to record talking head videos here, but also product b-rolls and maybe even some commercials. So I have this plan in my head, I'm not sure how to explain it. Maybe I should make a sketch. Should I make a sketch? Not sure. My drawing skills are truly, truly horrible. I'll give it a try. I think it's easier to explain everything. Top down shot. Ah. Okay, I can't even find a ruler at the moment, so this will have to do. Let me show you. Okay, so that's the room. The door is here. Here is that little corner window. Now, the plan that I have is, I want my talking head position, the table to be here, something like this. Camera here. Now, what I came up with, I think it's really cool. I want this table to be on wheels because then I can have my talking head position here, but I can also roll the table to over there. And then I have daylight, or I can put some lamps here, and that's a perfect uh, location to do some product B-roll maybe. So I would only need one table, and that'll save me a lot of space. And the rest will be, of course, some shelves. I have those low shelves already there. I think I will put those here, not sure yet. Here, this will be the background for my talking head videos. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. And then the rest of the walls, I think I'm gonna do uh, like what a lot of uh, YouTubers do, those um, perforated uh, metal panels where you can hang your tools because that way, if you hang them on the wall, you also save a lot of space. Probably here, will be one of those panels and yeah above these shelves I think also so the whole idea the whole plan centers around that that idea of having one table on wheels I think it's a good idea because you see how much space I have here if the tables here and if, the, if I put the table over there or to shoot some I don't know what then this space opens up and I can use that to put lamps and whatever. In my head, it sounds really good. Oh, and by the way, why I left this wall here white is because, first of all, it will act as a reflector panel, a fill, when I'm doing my talking head videos. So this white wall will reflect a little bit of light. If I would have painted that also dark, then maybe the whole look and feel of the studio would be too dark. And I can also use it as a white background if I put the table here to shoot some products or whatever and I want a clean white background, then I have that wall. Of course, I can also put the table here. If I have a cool background here, shoot in that direction. You know, I mean, I really like that idea of having the table on wheels. I'm excited. I hope you too. Let me show you what I bought already. Oh, that's wobbly. Is it too wobbly? Eh, doesn't matter. What have I ordered already? First of all, the most important thing, the table on wheels. That's what, what everything will be built around. And I've ordered this super cool industrial looking table. I really like it. I think it will fit the whole concept that I'm building. And of course it comes on wheels, wheels that you can lock. That's, that's really important because you don't want it to roll when you're putting your arms on it or something like that. It's old wood um, and then those cool metal 
how do you call that, piping? You know, it's like something that looks good for products as well as just talking head videos, I think. The second thing that I ordered is the those perforated wall panels to hang all my gear. It's just plain gray. I think it's gonna look better than black because black it's gonna be a little bit too heavy, I think. So I went for just like plain metal gray color. And you can buy all kinds of accessories for it. And then another thing that I'm looking at is some sound panels. There's a lot of echo in that room. So I'm looking for some sound panels to put on the wall that I'm facing whenever I'll be making talking head videos. The only thing is there's so many different types and shapes. I'm not sure what to buy. I don't know if it's all the same, if it all does the same. So yeah, if one of you guys knows what I should buy for what I want to use it for, let me know. I'll show you what I found already on Amazon. There's like a bunch of so acoustic panels. So yeah, we have these. These are like the, the most common ones, just foam panels that you can stick on the wall but there's also this this i mean i have no idea what to get and they all say acoustic panels this is different shape again if one of you guys can tell me what what the best type of panels is for my studio let me know and that's about it for now the background is something that i haven't thought about yet i mean i've thought about it but i don't know what I want to put there. Maybe a nice, also industrial kind of shelf. I think that's gonna look really nice with some warm light. Not sure yet. First gonna get the table, install the table, and then see how I will build everything around it. Okay, that's it for now, guys. That's the plan. I hope everything will arrive soon, and then we can start with the build. Now, I have to go to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist, but I have to go to the dentist. See you in the next one.